Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Blast Off. Did you just see the squid jump? Since when can squids fly? What the heck? Oh, crap. I'm drinking water again. It's that freaking drone. Uh, so, last time we were working on getting a dimensional transceiver so we can get our wind farm going up at the uh, sky so we can generate a whole lot of power for um, very little effort um, so I want to go ahead and continue doing that uh, we made our slice and splice hello oh yeah I talked to him a little bit now we're friends I guess uh, let's see so where did I leave off? I made the uh, octadic computer or capacitor here and uh, slice and splice and I think we needed um, some other machine. It was... Or maybe... Yeah, we need a soul binder. That's what we needed. Alright, so how do we make soul binder? Uh, soul binder? Oh, did I remove the thing? There we go. That is... Did I make him? Felt like I made him. Oh, I think I needed to make a machine chassis was my deal, wasn't it? Yeah. And apparently I need more printed circuit boards. I thought I made a bunch. You not working on anything? No? I thought I made a bunch. Oh, shoot. Go. Well, that's fast. Alright, we got our machine chassis. Now we just need... Yeah, the soul binder. And I think we needed an extra skull, didn't we? And I think I have stuff. Yeah, I got a bunch here. I'm just going to make him go insane. There we go. And... Let's see if I can find one. There we go. Boom, soul binder. Uh, does it need power? I'm assuming it needs power. Um, yeah. Okay, so... We needed for the... We needed it for the Ender Crystal, which is Vibrant Crystal with a Enderman Soul. So we're going to have to make a vial. And how do we make a vial? Soul vial. This guy. Perfect. So we got one of them. Um, before we do, let's go ahead and hook these guys up real quick. Uh, put him there and you there. We'll hook them up real quick. Hopefully I have enough cables. Yeah, I'll have enough. There we go. And there's enough light down here, right? Yeah. There's one area, apparently, uh, I didn't have enough light. A bunch of zombies were spawning. So I need to be a little more careful, apparently. Okay, so these guys are getting power. Um, one thing that I want to do before I actually get the transceiver, now that I think about it, is I have no way of getting up to the limit. Um, so what I want to do is make a jetpack and a angel block. And... 
how do you spell angel? There we go. Um, so angel block is no problem. Um, that will let you place it wherever your head is. So if I were to right click here, the block would spawn two blocks above me. Or well, would spawn where my head is. So one, two. So like right there. Um, so that will be useful. I'll just take it up there and we'll be able to build off that one block. But first, I want to make a jetpack. Um, I don't think the jetpack's the hard part to actual to actually make. It'll be the um, the fuel that's required, and I'm not positive what it actually even uses. So I'm gonna have to look it up real quick. Oh, he scared me. I got the priest walking around in here. We're gonna need some more people walking around here. That'll be kind of cool. So um, let me do some quick research, figure out what I need, and I'll be right back. I'm getting really low on charcoal. I'm thinking I'm going to have to build a smeltery real quick. Or a, uh, what's it called? Yeah, an alloy smelter, because I think that will be the best. Right? Maybe? What was the other one? This guy energized smelter. Could give him some speed up. I think I'll do him instead. So we'll make one of him because I really need charcoal. I'm getting really low. So let's go ahead and take him over here. Uh, actually, how many cables anywhere near here I think the nearest cable would be right there and I'd have to run it there and I don't have enough so what I'm gonna do is plug him in uh, right here I guess you know, I'll find a better place to put him later, but for now, we'll do just right here. And let me get some cables. Wrong bag. There we go. Uh, let me get back up there. Not nah, screw it. Okay. And I'll get him. Let's see what would be the best option. I can configure the. How did I do this before? I did this with something else, didn't I? Is it with him? No, I don't know. Let's see, so he's already extracting from the left. So that will work. So we'll tell him extract always active. Configuration. Orange is the left. So we'll tell it. Uh, where the heck is orange? There's no orange? I'm confused. Output. Okay, that makes no sense. There. I don't know what the deal is there. Um, now I want a interface probably actually I could probably do an export bus and just dump wood into it yeah I think that's what I'll do for now and let me now I'm not sure which side is actually the input um, let me play around I'll be right back alright so I decided I'm after playing around trying to figure this thing out, 
Well, the energized smeltery I went with an alloy smeltery just because it's so much easier. Um, and it can smelt three things at once. I know the energizers could be upgraded, and I was thinking that would be a better way to go, but um, it was super simple to set this guy up, and I just need charcoal. Um, I probably won't have this guy always active, so one thing I want to do real quick is... Um, I can't remember the name of this thing, but I want to make another one. The level emitter. What are you doing in here, Tom? So I want to make a level or meta real quick. And I should... Oh, I have one. Perfect. And I'll be able to hook this guy up and tell him to turn off when we get enough uh, charcoal. Okay, so... Let's do got one of you. And let's say actually let's do a thousand blocks of charcoal. Or uh yeah, thousand blocks. And then this guy will shut off. So he will emit a level when it's above or equal to. So once it's um has a thousand blocks or Above that, it will emit a signal, and we want this to be active without signal. So whenever this signal comes on, it will turn this guy off. Okay, so that's all set up. And now we just need to make our jetpack. So I want to get these guys going real quick, because we need some um, powder. Do I have a... Yeah. Can you crush that for me? Yes. Okay, so we need a electrolyte separator. Um, which will uh, produce hydrogen from water, I believe, is what the jetpack requires. It needs hydrogen. Um, so we need this electrolyte, uh, electro, electrolytic core. Um, which requires quite a bit of dust. Um, we'll need some osmium dust. Uh, the I don't want to create a recipe for these guys just because they're not real necessary. It looks like the only thing this dust actually used for is uh, the core and then these upgrades. Um, so it's not a big deal. And I don't ever plan on really using energy upgrades. And as for the iron... Uh, whoops. That is pretty much the same thing. He's used for some gas tanks, so I mean, no big deal. Thanks, buddy. Okay, and let's see here. Uh, we also need osmium dust. So, ah, we have some. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it. Should have enough by now, I think. Yeah. And... Boom. Okay, so let's go hook this guy up. And I want to put him... Uh, I guess here. Yeah, that'll work for me. And let's get some power lines laid out. Oh, now I'm stuck. There we go. Okay, so this guy will take water and produce um, hydrogen and uh, oxygen, I'm assuming. So we need a water pump. Do I have a pump on me? I know I have that water over there. Probably be easier if I just make a separate one for this guy, though. I don't have that many fluid ducts left. Do I have a pump in here? 
I don't see one. Oh, crap. So I gotta make a pump real quick. And I don't think I have any pickaxes left. Hopefully there's some unfixed ones down here. Some damaged ones. There is not. Great. Alright. I should probably do a better job of keeping uh, some pickaxes and apparently axes. Oh, I, I do. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and make a pump. So for a pump, we need a mining well. And... I thought I had a bunch of iron. Okay, I do. I just don't have them in the computer. Alright, there's the mining well, and then we need a tank, and then the pump. Perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and put him back here, I suppose. So we'll do that. We'll have the pump here. And let me get some... I don't need to go get water. I keep forgetting. I have this guy. Alright, and then... We need to power him with some... Redstone engines. I could probably use the conduits now, but... These guys are cheaper and I have a whole bunch of them. Well, they're not cheaper, but I have a whole bunch of them to use up, so... They're kind of cheaper. What if I do that? No, I gotta pump it out that side. So you there, and... Do I need him? Do I have a lever? Ah, perfect. I do. Okay, and then the fluid ducts. Now I can't get out. Okay, perfect. So he's creating hydrogen and oxygen. Um, I think we can vent the oxygen because we don't need that. And then um, let's make a jetpack. Whoa. So that is 10. Um, I don't know if we have 10. Yes, we do. Okay, so we need a gas tank. Now let's go ahead and make two of them. One for the jetpack and one for the uh, hydrogen. And get him going. There we go. We got our jetpack. And I don't think I'm going to make an armored one just because I don't plan on having this all the time because this chest piece is insane. So I'm not too worried about that. Go ahead and fill them up real quick. Seem to have lost my skin for some reason. I don't know if the servers are down or what. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this guy here. Okay, so it's automatically filling up. Perfect. Alright, so we'll let him fill up in hydrogen, and we will finish getting the dimensional. Um, first, let's make an angel block. There we go, done. And as for the... we need a vibrant crystal. How do we make you vibrant? Alloy Nuggets, which is Vibrant Alloy, around an Emerald, there we go, and let me um, see if I can find an Enderman real quick, 
and I will be right back. Shouldn't take me too long. Ah, found one. Took me a lot longer than I thought it would. I had to turn on the mob farm. I think this guy's from there. There we go. So we got a Enderman in a bottle. So let's head back. Let me stop by the kitchen real quick. Uh, I added this chest so I can see what all I haven't eaten in a while. Let's grab some smoked salmon. Alright, and so we need a soul vial and a vibrant crystal, if I remember right, to make the whatever thing we needed in a soul binder. Oh, so we might need to set up this thing close to XP. That drains a lot of power. Holy crap. Okay, so I'll keep this guy on me. I think we need him... Because I want to make that teleport rod thingy. Make a staff teleport. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. So we just, we need another one of these guys. So I'll need to keep an eye out for an Enderman. Alright, so. Is that zombie above? Yeah, he's above. So we got this. Um, now we need a Ender Resonator, which is a Enderman head, a Vibrant Alloy, Silicon, and a Slarium. I wonder how much I'm going to use these. Might, yeah, probably going to want to automate it, actually. Because I might need several of these. And this would be nice to have, too. So I'm going to go ahead and make a pattern for it, I think. All right. So, what the heck was it called? Ender Resonator. Alright, so we'll need a Enderman head, Solarium, Silicon, and a Vibrant Alloy. So we got the Enderman head, we got the Solarium. Is that in the right? Oh, I guess we'll switch it over to this, actually. No, that was right. And we need the Vibrant Alloy. And Silicon, right? I think that was it. We just need the, the transistor. No. I already forgot what it was called. Ender something or other, right? Ender Resonator. Yeah, Solarium, Shears, Axe. Does it need those in there? That will be kind of annoying if we need Axes for every single one of those. Alright, so let me grab this stuff. Got two more solarium. Let's go ahead and make some more of you. And this guy and an Enderman head. Don't have many of these guys. I might as well not automate it just because the amount of stuff I'm actually going to need to get. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to need an axe and shears. And I don't believe I have any axes. And I went ahead and... Aren't you guys getting pulled out? Alright, so apparently I'm going to want to... Save axes. Let's get rid of you again. I don't know why I'm having issues with him not pulling these guys. Hmm. 
Not sure. Interesting. All right, yeah, I'm going to have to wait for an axe, and then I'll catch back up with you guys once I have one. All right, just got one. So let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, I need shears. There we go. And let's head over here. Got one. Put you in there. That doesn't require as much RF. 500, that's insane. wonder what that is. Probably an upgrade of some sort. Oh, so it only uses like... Okay, so we don't have to keep adding them for every single one. That ain't so bad, actually. Um, so we can go ahead and do this. And then... Uh... Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Huh. Uh, how many channels are we even using at this point? Probably quite a bit. Ooh, all eight? I might even be over without knowing it because I don't have a great system set up. Let's see one, two, three, four, five. That's five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna, I'm using exactly eight. It looks like Let's go ahead and add one here. A smart cable. So seven should be here and one should be here. Once this figures out what's going on. Okay, yeah, so seven, eight. Perfect. So we're not over yet. But I'm going to... If I want like an interface over here, I'm going to need to have another line. Now let's go ahead and do that right now before I forget. So do I want... probably want the dense cable running that way, so I'll do that real quick. Uh, where's my wrench? I think I had it. I must have put it back. No, there it is. Okay, and then work dense cables. There we go. And then I'll have a... Ah, oh, crap. Mm, this is going to get a little messy. Hoping to avoid stuff like this. Um, let's do... Let's do right here. Can I even... Get up. Yeah, I'll have to go behind it. So let's do put you guys away, grab you, and I'll do one there. And I guess, yeah, just have them run along. Here's the slice and splice. 
There we go. That'll work. Let's see if I can get out of here. All right, perfect. And then I'll just have to add an interface there. What's the Enderman slave? If you haven't dealt with these guys, they're insane. They typically one hit me. Let's see if I can get him. And I mean, they're nothing special other than, you know, for the quest line, but it, yeah, do not let them hit they hit you, they will kill you instantly. Alright. Uh, do I have an interface? Yes, I do. Perfect. And put you in there. There we go. So we should be able to automate that if... And change it to push and pull. There we go. Alright, so... Um, my jetpack's all filled up. I have my angel block. Now let's just finish getting the... Uh, dimensional transceiver. And we'll need two of them. At the moment I'm only making one. Um, because I didn't remember I needed two. Uh, so we'll need some electric steel. Let's go ahead and make a pattern for this guy. And we need that, 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 and then, I was thinking I had some. Apparently not. You know what, I did have one in there, but apparently it's in the crafting grid and not available. There we go. And I think the only thing I don't have, I think it's this guy, is the Crafting for this guy. Uh, I just need one more. Oh, and the Ender Crystal. That's right. So, yeah, he doesn't know how to make the uh, capacitor. Um, I will go ahead and collect the rest of stuff I need here and catch back up with you guys. Um, it's probably getting close to the end of the episode. Um, I'll have to double check, but I'll be right back. All right, yeah, that's all the time I have for today. Um, we got quite a bit accomplished, um, but um, we still need one more of these guys. So I will uh, have that ready by next episode, and we'll get our windmills in place. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.